In this video I will show you how you are able to change your gear and accessories as fast as I am doing right now. Stay tuned and enjoy the awesome intro. <laughs> Okay, before I continue with this video, as a quick disclaimer, I don't know if Gameforge allow you to use these macros, and I'm not saying that I personally use them. I'm merely just giving an informative video on how to do such things, and uh, technically there is no way of Gameforge ever finding out that you are using these macros, because the only way they would find out is if you record yourself and someone reports you but as I said I'm not using them I'm only making a video for you guys as I said again I am not using these macros now that's done let's continue with the video okay what you'll need is you'll need a gaming keyboard or mouse the reason I say gaming is because they usually come with extra buttons and pieces of software that allow you to customize the keys if you do not have either of these you can download a program off the internet that allows you to create macros and bind them to certain keys Okay, now that that's sorted, first step is go to options, go to key mapping, action bar, and scroll right down to the bottom. Once you're here, you'll see select quick bar 1 to 9 and 0. Uh, find the bar that your main skills are on, so for example mine is bar 1, and make a bind. As you'll see on my on-screen keyboard, I'll bind this as the number on my number pad, that star. Apply that. Now find an empty bar which you wish to push your, put your gear on so for example let's see number 6 and then make a bind for that also so that's going to be a minus on my number pad as you see that's just flashed up so you can see what I'm doing once you've done that apply and close it go to your inventory and uh, find the gear you wish to use so for example let's put my blood mark gear onto the bar and then let's also Okay, let's just leave that for now. So there's my blood mark gear. And right, let's say also let's do my officer set. What am I missing? Gloves. Okay. Once that's done, you need to open up your macro software or your gaming software. Uh, different keyboards and mice have different manufacturers that have different pieces of software. So for example my keyboard has a Corsair piece of software which allows me to customize all the keys individually and as you can see I've got extra keys on them which I can do that on. But I'm going to use my mouse one so I've got a Logitech mouse so I'll show you how to do on this. So go to your mouse and select the button you wish to have the macro on so I'll use this one. Click on edit and then go to your macro function. For this one it's called multi key macro. Uh, just start by start recording and the first button you're going to press is the button to switch to the bar with the gear. So number six to switch there you push minus on mine. Then my chest piece is one, then legs two, pauldrons three, gloves four, boots five. Once that's done you need to push the button to go back to your original bar make sure there are no delays between each of these otherwise it will be incredibly slow so as you can see there's a button here that says record delays between events I have that unticked once you've done that push stop recording okay and let's say I want to make this one my officer set so again same thing start recording that's the number but sorry that's the bind to go to the bar with the gear on it and then my officer chest piece is seven and then eight nine zero and actually I don't have a bind for that key so let me put it on the equal sign and then let's just do that again okay so minus seven eight nine zero and equals and then that's the bind to go back to my original bar so once you've done that you can push OK and we'll see how that looks now in game so if I go back to my original bar and I push that button it instantly removes all of my BM gear and puts it back on straight away and then I can switch between my two sets as I said I'm not condoning using this and I'm not saying I do myself but it's up to you if you want to use it I'm just providing information to people 
You can also do this with accessories, so let's find an empty bar again. So bar number seven, go back to your options. So bar number seven, let's make a bind for that. So whatever. Keypad plus. What you want to do now is is drag whatever accessories you want. So let's just go for neck, earring, ring, belt. Actually, let me put the earring and ring first. Belt there. Wings as well if you wish, and also a hat if you want to. The problem now is is that you also need to have the left accessories. So what you need to do is is go to your macro in game, make a new macro. drag the items into it one earring and one ring and rename to slash left and then drag that also to the bar make sure that the binds you are using for these macros are on single keys so as you can see I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six if you start putting them on control one or alt one or shift one they'll start to mess up so make sure they're on single keys so one to equals or eq whatever button you have up down just make sure they're on single keys otherwise your macro will start to mess up so okay i've got my ibm accessories there and let's make one for my ap as well so let's go with eight nine Zero uh, wings on Q. Uh, I don't have a hat, let's just put that hat there. Belt on C, and then we need to make another macro for the AP accessories. So drag one into there again, and the ring as well, and do the same as before slash left. And then also drag that down to your bar. Okay, now we're going to go back to our macro program. Find a key that you want to use. So let me pick this one. Go to the same thing again. Okay, so let's start recording. So first we need to push the bind to go to that bar, which is plus for me. You can make any bind you want to. I'm just using this because that key was free. And one, two, three, four five six and then seven for the macro in game to switch the left and left earring and ring and then the bind to go back to the original so let's go do that one and then let's also do it for the AP accessories so again plus to go to that bar and then eight nine zero C Q E and then equals for the last micro and then again to go back to the bar the problem with this is is that because it's changing so fast you'll see what happens now so if I go back to my main and I want to put my AP accessories on as you can see maybe one will go on and it will stay off or will get bugged the reason is is because the macro is being performed so quickly that it sort of skips over it so the way to fix that is if you go into your macro need to add add a small delay between which is just before you activate that macro in game so number seven was my in-game macro so let's add a delay I find that uh, usually about a hundred milliseconds or 0 0.1 seconds is usually okay and it will switch perfectly fine so let's also add a delay here and then rename that to 100 and let's check what it looks like now so that's my AP and there you go BM AP BM switch my gear there you go hope you enjoyed the video if you did like it sorry it was very long just trying to explain everything so people are not confused if you do have any questions feel free to write them down below 
I will try to make more videos in the future with guides and advice and I hope you also enjoyed my awesome intro. If you do know how to edit and you wish to improve it, let me know or make me one and send it to me so I can use it. And yeah, thanks for watching, take care, feel free to share it and have a nice day. Just some info I missed out, uh, you can use this while moving and in combat etc. So have a test and see what's good for you and what works etc. And play around with the macro timers on your different pieces of software because they all alter depending on what you're using etc. So have fun.